I think travelling in Europe so far has, for us has been brilliant. You know, obviously we started the, the campaign really well. Um, getting off to a winning start in our first away game was was brilliant. It's about trying to keep things, you know, as um, as normal as what we're used to doing here, but obviously taking that uh, when we go abroad as well. Now that we're playing in Europe, uh, obviously the work workload has increased um, quite a bit. We have to change all over the, the training kit because with uh, your UEFA regulations, you can't have uh, branding on, on your training kit, necessarily on the match shirt, so we have to change over everything for, for that. The background staff are phenomenal here, you know, they always have been. Um, it's a lot of familiar faces from even when I started when I was younger, so, you know, it's a tight, tight group and, um, you know, it just seems to be a family all round. I don't think there's anything we miss in, when we're away in, in terms of what we have here at the training ground because, you know, we've got all the staff we need, um, they pack the physio beds, they, they obviously take themselves, so with it, they, they're, they're, they're hands on. Um, these two are unfortunately there as well, but no, it's good. We just prepare ourselves as best as possible in terms of the equipment that we normally take to a game and try and replicate that for a Champions League fixture. If we don't have our kit ready and you know our transport right, the boys won't be able to function. So, you know, it's very important that we have them things in place, we have the right setup and their job is to obviously make sure everything's prepared and right for us just to go out on the pitch and concentrate on football and do our best. When we go away, you know, the, the backroom team is, if you will, uh, you know, massively important for us. I mentioned already about trying to keep things as, as normal as possible, so the chef travels with us to, to make sure the food's right and, and it's what we have. And he obviously cooks our food for us on the travel. Again, make sure the foods are right on the plane and it's, it's the right stuff that we're eating leading into the game. The food abroad, what, what basically happens, I, I sit down with uh, the other sports signs and, and between it will devise the menus. Upon arrival, I'll introduce myself to the chef in the hotel and then we'll sit down and then we'll discuss the menus that have been provided. There are players that have different quirks and different things alike, so obviously I've, I've identified all those now. So I will sit down with a, a member of staff and then we will contact the hotel to see if it can be sourced. If there's certain things that can't be sourced abroad, then yes, I, I will take you in a separate container and take it with me to make sure that the players get the, the, the stuff they need. It's just the logistics side of it really. Like for Copenhagen and Porto, we will be flying, so we've got to pack away in, in the smaller containers. Mainly we sort of plan to offer the same service that we can offer if we were at a home game, be that in terms of equipment that we take or staffing levels that we take. But apart from all the kit equipment, we have we obviously got the medical medical side of it, um, sports science and the, the video analysts equipment. So, you know, probably mine's only about a third of the stuff in the kit with the rest of it's um, like medical and, and, that, and that side of it.